My husband came home from work one day and he said, hey, do you want a school bus? And I was like, what? Hi, I'm Molly Mansfield and this is my handmade home in Taylor, Texas. I am an artist. I work with oil paints um, making landscape and botanical paintings. Our house, it was a complete fixer-upper. It was built in 1935. It hadn't been updated since the 70s. So it needed to be painted, it needed everything. And on the inside, everything was linoleum floor and wood paneling on the walls and the um, stuff that looks like styrofoam on the ceiling. This is our living room. Um, so we painted it pink. We did like the walls and the ceiling all pink. My husband and I are foster parents. When we found out that we were only going to um, be getting boys in our home, I kind of knew like right at that moment that I wanted to paint our living room pink. I think it was just a little bit of like this rebellious nature in me of like, well, if you're gonna say that I can only have boys, then I'm gonna have a pink living room. I love the warmth that it gives and the ability that it has to kind of make a space feel cozy and comfortable. I'm really inspired by house plants. Um, so I have a whole bunch of them in my home and I try to have multiple plants um, in every room. I do think that plants are one thing that every house needs. In addition to art, both of those things are very, um, they give off their own energy and they make a home feel vibrant. We have an entry level but growing art collection. So we have a lot of my art, but we also love to um, support other artists. This is one area where we have some art displayed. Um, there's a few of my paintings and um, a photograph from an uncle of mine and two paintings from this, um, a friend of mine who's an abstract artist, Inge Flint, and I really love her work. I also really love um, children's art and um, the way that that, like the energy that that has, it has such a like playful and happy energy. So I've also framed um, some of my kids' uh, paintings and drawings as well. I love displaying my kids' artwork and just kind of having the clothesline where they can trade it out and put up some of their fresh pieces. I think something that is really important in your home is just having good flow. Um, of the floor plan and this is something that I didn't um, realize until we moved into this house. When someone walks into our home I really want them to feel comfortable and like they are at home and I want them to feel cared for. This is our bedroom. Um, it is probably my favorite room in the house. I love the light in this room. Every room in the house has a lot of windows but this room has the prettiest light and I think it's just the um, south facing windows that it gets. So we painted, just like did a straight line right there um, so that part of this wall is white just so that I can hang my artwork here and be able to photograph it um, with good light um, without any like tinted light from colors of walls. It's definitely the light that I think makes that room significant because we haven't really, um, like I said, we haven't touched it yet. This is my studio. It is a renovated school bus. We put a closet in right here where the uh, driver's seat was. We put wood flooring in here, um, which I love the warmth and feel of that. Um, this is um, a desk that my husband improvised. Um, he just 
took this, um, this is all like one piece of wood. Um, it's the piece of wood it's made out of like small slats of wood that are laminated together. On uh, this side is just a piece of wood on top of some center blocks and I've actually been utilizing the center blocks for storage. Having this space that is dedicated to my painting and being able to come in here and create um, is so, so nice. It's been a year now about since um, I've had this space and I kind of forget what it was like, but um, I'm so grateful for it. Um, just the ability to kind of keep a work in progress up, keep my paints out and my mess. Um, I love being able to make my own mess and not have to clean it up and not have to worry about any little hands coming and getting paint on other surfaces. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Handmade for more videos like this.